Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at this elastic military strap from Risky.co. Risky.co, it's a new company. They are based in Singapore and they were kind enough to send in this strap for review. So, a full disclosure here, I get to keep the strap after the review. Alright, so let's move on to the review then. The strap, it's an elastic strap. It's, I think, currently, this kind of straps, they are quite popular. I think it was popularized by the Erika's MN strap, the Marine Nationals kind of strap. So it's sort of like, you know, some people call it the paratrooper strap, but it's made of an elastic material, so it's stretchable. The material on the strap, it's quite nice. It's not rough, it's not coarse. I think it would wear quite well on the wrist. And more importantly is that this piece, this buckle here, it is quite taut. It doesn't, it doesn't slide out very easily. So I guess it wouldn't like, you know, get loosened on its own when it's on the wrist as some of those elastic straps out there. And this is how the strap look on a watch. Okay, so yep, this is how it looks. I'm going to try to put this one on this piece here. So uh, from there, maybe you'll know how to actually put on the strap on a watch. So we start off with this. And what we need to do is basically make sure that the hook here is on the 12th position. So what we need to do is to... Yep, I'm going to do this with a quick release spring bar so it's easier for, for me to do it on camera. So please bear with me as I try to snuggle the spring bar in. Right, so basically that's it. This is how the strap attached to the watch. Alright, so I'm going to do a wrist shot with one of these watches. Alright, this is how the strap wears on my wrist. As can be seen, even on my small 6-inch wrist, the strap is still quite wearable. I think it still very nicely or snugly fit my small wrist. Unlike some comments I get from my previous review of certain straps that they complain that, you know, it's not because of the strap, but <laughs> it's that my wrist is too small, but I don't really have any problem here. See, if I shake around my wrist, it wouldn't get loose on its own. So I, I think that it's important that to have a good buckle on this kind of strap. Alright, we're done with the wrist shot. So here, I'm going to do a quick and dirty pros and cons about these straps. So for the good things, what I like is the material of the strap. They are quite comfortable and they are quite stretchy enough. The second important thing is that this hook or buckle here is quite taut on the strap. It doesn't slide in and out easily on its own. So uh, I do not have any problem on the, on the strap loosening on its own. All right. Another good thing is that the price. If you look at the website, this strap is priced for nineteen US dollars. To me, it's a very competitive price. All right. And another good thing is that this strap is actually very wearable on my small wrist, and I guess it should be able to fit wrist sizes from five and three quarter inch. All the way to seven and a half inch right so what are the negatives of this strap one thing that I could point out is that the buckle here or the or the hook here is unsigned I do really love the logo of the risky.co I believe it's a husky dog if I'm not mistaken and I do really like to have the doggy on the buckle so yeah this is kind of a bummer but I wish the owners on of risky.co would eventually put a sign buckle. Yep, I think that's it for this uh, video. So if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It does help me a lot. And you can also follow me on my Instagram at gfw underscore watch. And one last thing, please use my code gfw15 for 15% off any purchase on risky.co. Alright, till then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.